Hi, my name is Andrew Ewan, and I'm an application engineer with Keysight Technologies. This is a quick video on getting started with the M8190A Arbitrary Waveform Generator, where we'll go over the necessary hardware and software requirements to get your M8190A up and running. Let's begin. There are two ways to connect to your M8190A. The first is to use an external PC, which can either be a desktop or a laptop. The second way is to use the M9536A embedded AXIE controller. If you choose to use an external PC, you will need to verify that the PC is on the tested computer list to reduce the risk of any incompatibilities between the PC and the instrument. The link is shown here and is also included in the notes in the comments beneath the video. When using an external PC, also verify that you have the proper adapters and cables. These vary depending on if you're using a desktop or a laptop. For a desktop, you need the M9048A PCIe desktop adapter and the Y1202A PCIe cable. For a laptop, you need the M9045B PCIe Express Card laptop adapter and the Y1200B PCIe cable. Next, you want to install the necessary software packages onto your controlling PC. This applies to both methods, regardless of whether you are using an external PC or if you're using the embedded controller. The first software package to install is the I.O. Libraries Suite. The second software package is the M8190A firmware, which will also download the soft front panel and the IVI drivers. Both of the download links are shown here and are copied in the comments beneath the video. Once the software packages have been loaded, and when you're using an external PC, you will want to turn off the PC and connect the appropriate PCIe cable and adapter to the PC. Once those are connected, turn on the M8190A by pressing the power button in the upper left corner of the chassis. There is a LED on the M8190A labeled Access. Wait until it turns to green before turning on your PC. If you're using the embedded controller, simply turn on the power to the whole chassis. Now let's take a look at what to do once the PC boots up. Here on the bottom of the screen, I created some shortcuts to the different applications that you'll be using frequently. The first is the Agile Connection Expert. Next is the M8190A firmware, and then the M8190A software panel. First to check to connectivity, you want to check the device manager here, and sure enough, I do see the M8190A. Next, you want to look at the Agile Connection Expert application and it automatically populated with the M8190A under the PXI interface, so that looks good here. Next thing you want to do is to run the firmware. Here I've already loaded the firmware for the M8190, and I can see that all of the different addresses look correct, and it's populated correctly. You want the firmware to be running at all times when you're using the M8190A. Next I'll start the M8190A soft front panel. Notice that the address that I use is the same address that's listed on the M8190A firmware page for PXI8 in this situation. You can find that here on the M8190 firmware. So I'll go ahead and click connect, open this up. So something that you can do to do a quick check is to send a standard waveform in the standard waveform tab it loads and automatically loads a, uh, a sine wave at one megahertz. So I can click send to instrument and then go to the output tab and turn on the output to the direct out here. And then next I'll go to the status tab and set it to run. What I've done is hooked up the direct output of the M8190 to an oscilloscope, and sure enough, I do see that there is a signal coming out of the M8190. For more information on the M8190A soft front panel, check out the M8190A user's guide. Link is shown here and also is shown at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching.